Election day is less than a month away. Three candidates are running for Iowa House District 35, which includes the northern and western parts of Des Moines. Local 5's Alex Fulton talked with all three candidates on their background and their priorities. Alex. Larissa, Republican Angela K. Schrader and Libertarian David G. Green are challenging Democratic incumbent Sean Bagnaski for the House District 35 seat. The two will face a tough battle as Representative Bagnaski won his race two years ago with over 70% of the vote. So tell me a little bit about your background. So um, my profession is uh, senior construction project management and I've been doing that for 15 years. I serve on a lot of the budget committees, appropriations, commerce. We do have decreased numbers on the House Democratic side, so it's a little bit more partisan, a little bit more political than I was hoping for, but hoping to have a bipartisan, you know, more compromise focus second term. I got involved uh, with the party fairly heavily in 2020. Um, I served for four years um, on the state board. How do you plan on representing the people of West and North Des Moines? You're going to find me at Snookies. You're going to find me at the grocery store. My phone number is still on my website, still on every piece of campaign literature. I'm an accessible person. The biggest thing I would want to do is um, to actually get it back to representing the people. Part of the mental health issue and addiction issue is also a homeless issue. If we get them help and get them treated correctly, get them on the right medications, get them services to get them through, I think that we can also solve a secondary problem. And I was gonna say, what are your priorities day one if you're elected? Uh, one of the biggest things I really wanna start do, working with is the mental health part of uh, the initiative that um, Governor Reynolds signed into law. I would like to get rid of vouchers. Um, they are wildly unpopular in the state of Iowa, so working towards that. If we can't get rid of vouchers, more accountability for vouchers. The state of Iowa was awarded tens of millions of dollars to address the opioid crisis. However, for the past two years, the legislature has done nothing with that money. This is just a sample of my interviews with these House candidates. Before you vote, be sure to check out the longer version on our website, weareiowa.com. Larissa.